So in this video, we're gonna do a technical analysis for Euro CHF pair and you can apply these things or learn these things from here and apply these whenever you see in any other currency pair as well. So first of all, if we zoom in a little bit in the past, here you can see I am at two hours time frame for Euro CHF pair and we are on candlestick patterns chart. So if I zoom in a little bit in the past, we can see that there are there is this very big bearish candle forming. Now this big bearish candle represents that in this candle there is a very big momentum of sellers that came in and this candle is very big or you can say outlier when we compare it to the previous candles if we go here and look so all the previous candles are very small compared to this candle so in this candle there is a very big momentum of sellers and that's why they drove the market from here to here in just two hours so what this does is it creates a space and that space cannot exist for very long and in technical terms we call this space or gap as imbalance now whenever an imbalance is created by a movement of candle or market like this it gets fulfilled so uh, anywhere in future so this is one imbalance that has been created now we will wait for the market to fill this balance and if we go here here as well we can see that there is again a formation of this imbalance and this imbalance is again represented by the formation of this very big bearish candle if we compare it to the previous candles this candlestick is very very big and this candlestick represents the imbalance in the market so uh, there are two imbalances that we have been able to spot and these imbalance levels are very important because in future we can refer to these levels where the market will come and fill these imbalances or balance these imbalances so now if we go ahead and we can see from here the market is moving in the bearish direction because there is continuous formation of these lower highs and lower lows so market kept moving in the bearish direction till this level and this is the maximum low the market has reached so this level is our low that maximum that market has reached in terms of the bearish trend so if we zoom into this low we can see after the formation of this low there is the formation of this high and then this higher low and this low is act at a level where the trend kind of got reversed because there previously there was the formation of the lower highs and lower lows and after the formation of this level at this level the market started to form these higher highs and higher lows so after that the market kept moving in the bullish direction as we can see here and here as well we can see that there is this low this high and this higher low and again this is higher high and again here this is the higher low so this formation or this market structure represents that there is bullish trend in the market and if we look closely enough here we can see the formation of this rally base rally demand zone okay so this demand zone can be drawn here at the base candle by the way you can also use our supply and demand indicator to detect supply and demand zones for you automatically on your charts and the indicator also gives you real-time alerts so here you can see that this is the demand zone forming and after that here there is this higher high so the market touched this gap but it did not fill it and again there is kind of retracement happening here and this market structure is also forming the Elliott wave chart pattern so if i just go ahead and start drawing the Elliott wave this is our starting point this is our first wave second third fourth and fifth wave so till this level till this higher high the five waves of Elliott wave are com completed and after these five waves, there will be the retracement in the form of a b and c the C will be somewhere in the future. So if I just go here and start to draw the ABC points. So these are starting point. This is A, B and C will be somewhere in the future. So from here, we have two things that we have found out till now. There are two imbalances 
that exist okay and then there is after this reversal there is the formation of this elite wave pattern and also there is the formation of this demand zone that is forming here so if i just zoom in a little bit more and let me just remove these now we're gonna see how you can use these findings or this analysis to predict the direction of the market so if we take the fibonacci retracement tool and if i draw it from here to here we can see that there is the formation of this retracement and the retracement is always almost between these gold, this golden zone that is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.68 so at this golden zone there is already a higher high in the past so this zone becomes very important and from here when the market is currently at this level from here there are two possibilities okay the market will reach this zone okay this retracement and then again continue to move in the bullish direction to fill these two gaps okay the, the this is the first gap and this is the second gap so this is the first possibility that price will bounce back from this zone this important key level and then start to move in the bullish direction to fill this gap and the second possibility is that if i just zoom in here since there was the formation of this demand zone as well so this level is very important as well so if for any reason this analysis or uh, the market breaks through this level then the second possibility is that market will come to this zone and it will again bounce back from here after picking the pending orders of institutions and it will move in the bullish direction after bouncing from this zone after touching this zone so again the market will move in the bullish direction to balance the imbalance that was created earlier that we detected in the first place so here this is the analysis that from this level here the market is very likely to bounce from this level here okay from this zone and let me just again take this from this zone this is the first possibility and then it can reach to this level okay this level in order to fulfill these gaps and the second possibility is that market will come to this zone pick the pending buy orders of the institutions and then again move in the bullish direction in order to fill the imbalance that was created in the past so this is the analysis for your chf pair for coming days or weeks also i would recommend you to join our youtube channel membership because there we constantly post analysis like this so you can learn a lot from those analysis and also i hope you are able to understand this analysis and see you guys in the next video thank you